Hi guys, welcome back to Math with James. So we have this problem right here. We have to find the 99th derivative of sine x. So before we solve this problem, that's some fundamentals that we have to go through. The formulas for finding the derivatives of trigonometric functions, like the derivative of sine x is cosine x, and the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. Cosine x is negative sine x. The derivative of tangent x is equal to secant x squared and the derivative of cotangent x is equal to negative cosecant x squared. And then also you have derivative of secant x is equal to secant x times tangent x. And then the derivative of cosecant x is equal to negative cosecant x times cotangent x. So take a good look at these formulas and we're going to need to use the first one. The derivative of sine x is cosine x because we have this derivative over here, sine x. But ask us to find the 99th derivative. We're going to start from sine x, which is the original function. And the first derivative of sine x is cosine x. And we know the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. So that's the second derivative. And then uh, the derivative of negative sine x is negative cosine x. And then uh, the derivative of negative cosine x is going to be sine x. So this thing returns back to the original function, which means every one, two, three, four derivatives, it goes back to the original one. The period actually is four. So now we need to find the 99th derivative of sine x. And basically you can use 99 to be divided by four and try to find out the remainder here. So 99 divided by four, the remainder is three, I guess. Uh, is it? So if the remainder is 3, then you can count it over here. So 1, 2, 3. Then the 99th derivative is equal to negative cosine x. Problem solved. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.